Wildcats. Hello, Wildcats. This is Neil. And this is Neil. Today we've got Mock Trial, Crochet Interest Group, and Logos. All this and more on today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Crochet Interest Group will be having their team meeting this week on Thursday. March 7th, 3 to 4 p.m. in room 160. There is a $3 entrance fee, and they will be making beginner-friendly heart-shaped bookmarks. You will need medium-sized yarn, about a 4.5 millimeter hook. Hey, Novi, the Black Student Alliance is hosting an event called Natural Hair Care 101 on Wednesday, March 13th from 3 to 4 p.m. in room 220. Join BSA as they get tips and tricks from licensed chemist and YouTube sensation Tanya Lane. There will be food provided, and if you have any questions, email Ms. Spring. Mock Trial is a competitive club at our school that just finished competing in their district regionals. We're going to go talk to the club sponsor and two of the officers to find out more information. Mock Trial is an after-school club for students who are interested in learning about the law and litigation and how courtroom trials are prepared for and presented in a court of law. <laughs> Mock Trial is a club at Novi um, and we compete at the MCCE competitions every year. So what we do is essentially we take teams of 12 students um, and that breaks down into, in this case, plaintiff and defense. And from there, that's each side of that is six people with three attorneys and three witnesses. And witnesses pretend to be the people involved in this case and attorneys, well, our attorneys they run through like the general questioning and legal procedures and then we as a club go through and teach students at Novi how these legal proceedings work how like objections work how to give opening statements that sort of thing now that we know what mock trial is we're gonna go ask some team members why they think other people should join mock trial too people should join mock trial because not only does it make you a better speaker but it makes you a better um, team player it makes you understand like the different sides of the attorney and I also think like all the cases are really fun and interesting it's a really good way to introduce yourself into the world of law in a way that's fun and competitive and I like the acting part about it and also the fact that it's helping you learn at the same time if you're not interested in playing a role as a witness or an attorney, there are other options as well. There's a courtroom journalism companion program where students will sit in on the competition and then they'll write an article about it. We also have the courtroom artistry program where students sit in and they draw what's happening during the courtroom trial. And then we also this year have the American Sign Language interpreting. We always um, invite people into the courtrooms to practice there as well. So this begs the question, how can students get involved right now? So the spring season is a lot of um, fun team building activities and we do a lot of in-house competition with some older cases to help us prepare for the next year. This year's spring season we're going to be doing a criminal case in order to prepare for next year's criminal case. So the case that we're doing this year is regarding first degree arson and second degree murder. So if you guys are interested in practicing that criminal case, stop by Ms. Shapin Dubay's room to get more information on that. Thank you. If you're interested in joining Mock Child, go see Ms. Shapin Dubay in room 102 or join the Schoology group with this code above and keep track of the updates for when the next meetings are. Hey Novi, this is Luke back again to tell you about the Novi Media Center Logo Design Competition. The Novi Media Center is looking for students to help design a logo to put on their research pamphlets, collection booklets, and website. The design you submit must be original, made by a Novi High School student, and it's not allowed to use the Novi N or the Wildcat symbol. All Novi High School students are welcome to submit their logos. Submissions can be physical or digital. If you're submitting physically, turn it into the Novi Media Center. And if you're submitting digitally, submit it to Kelly Casper's email right here. You'll receive a small prize for submitting your logo. And if you win the competition, you'll receive a another prize and bragging rights. I hope to see what logos you guys end up making and as always this is Luke signing off. What's up Novites? Today we're going to be tier listing fast food chains. First off we got Arby's. Now I honestly think Arby's is pretty good you know and I haven't really had a bad experience there so I'm going to go ahead and say that Arby's is an A. Yeah more or less I agree except for the fact that Arby's is really really dry in terms of their fried chicken. So for that I'll give it a B. Next off we got Panera and I've only had this like twice. It's just like a generic place so I'll probably give it a C or a B. Yeah I've had Panera a lot of times like all through growing up. Their food is really high quality. 
but they're really expensive. So, you know, for that reason, I'll give them an A. Next, we got Subway. I know a lot of people hate on Subway. I personally think that it's a pretty good place, so I'll probably give it a B. Yeah, Subway is pretty generic as far as sub restaurants go, but they are very solid, and I haven't had a bad experience, so I give them a B. So, Domino's, it's probably one of the best pizza chains. I'd probably give Domino's an A. Domino's isn't too bad. Overall, just kind of mid. I've had better pizza places before. Overall, I'll just give them a C. Next up, we got McDonald's. You see, personally, I love McDonald's. I get McDonald's a lot. I should probably cut down on that, but that's all right. Personally, it's S tier for me because it's the best of the best. It's the reason why it's really popular. It's probably a B or a C. Like, it's pretty mid, and it's just, like, all fake. Yeah, in terms of quality, I would give McDonald's a C, but because it's a classic and because it's so cheap, I gotta give it an A. Next, we have Papa John's. The one time I had this, it was, like, the slice was just, like, dripping everywhere. <laughs> so much sauce. It wasn't horrible. It was okay. So a B probably. Yeah, I, I'm gonna very much disagree with that. Um, Papa John's is the best fast food pizza place on the market right now. Their pizza is so high quality. I don't care how expensive it is. It is so good. Uh, straight into the S tier for me. All right, next up we got Culver's, and again, it's it's really good. Their food probably is really fake. Their cheese curds are really good, and their butter burgers are really good as well. And their food is not too expensive, so I'll give them an S. Next off we got Chick Fil A, and for the chicken sandwiches. It's gotta go S. Like, it's the best chicken place. Yeah, I, I fully agree with that. The only one that is in competition with it is Popeyes. Even then, I still think Chick-fil-A just slightly out does them. Their food just, just tastes so high quality. I gotta put it in S tier as well. Next off, we got Panda. I honestly enjoy Panda, and a lot of people don't. I will give it an A. Me personally, I love Panda. Uh, their, their food just tastes super good, and uh, me personally, I gotta give it an A. Next, we got Jimmy John's. And for a sub place, Jimmy John's has not missed yet. For that, I gotta give it a high A. I've had a good experience with Jimmy John's every day. Me personally, I've had no bad experiences at Jimmy John's. Their food tastes pretty high quality and they're reasonably quick. So for that, I gotta also give them an A. Next, we got Pizza Hut. Straight to F. This is the worst pizza chain, I think, on the planet. It's like a piece of cardboard. It's horrible. F. Yeah, he basically said everything. Pizza Hut is just, they just don't taste high quality. They just seem like the pizza place that if you have a lot of people over, it's the cheapest option. There's so many better options. I don't know why you would pick Pizza Hut. Straight to F. Thank you for watching today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. We'll be back with more tomorrow. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.